Get her. All right, why don't you two quit horsing around and mow the lawn? First order of business this morning. If you watch my last video, you know we added some corn ground, so I need to go get some more corn seed. This is conventional stuff with this corn on corn ground and just the fact that we mostly plant genetically modified seed anyway. I'm gonna pull this out, go get another box of the seed we normally plant, and we'll be off to the races. I, uh, I was thinking I'd go get some seed, but Scott isn't answering. You think I just run over there, or you want me to run up and get the planter and start cleaning that out? Oh, he's calling back right now. I'll answer that. Scott, are you, are you at home? Okay, if I'm over there in 15 minutes, does that work? Okay, I'll head that way then. We'll need a, that box of 194.49, assuming that's 50 units. Okay, and then can I get a dozen bags of something else, whatever you think would be good on corn on corn? Loaded up with a little over 3,000 pounds in the back of this Chevy. She don't even know it. Morning, Zach. Morning, Daryl. You guys get that check valve in? Yes, so oh. whenever you got time for it or what you wanna do. We've got 150 acres of corn left today uh, that we should finish up. I mean, hopefully, I guess it'll be mid-afternoon okay. at this point, but maybe later yep. this afternoon when we're switching stuff to beans. Yep. Hello. Hi there. Hi. We just got the switch changed and everything filled up. So we'll go start on the 80. Okay. Um, I don't know if you wanna bring a rock picker out there in 20 minutes or something. I've been talking a little bit in previous videos about the differences between the field cultivator and the Mendeco, the VT tool, the Storm. Here you can see the line between the two. This is the Mendeco stuff here. It's actually stirring in this corn residue, this heavy corn residue a lot better, getting it blacker. But the field cultivator does leave it a little bit more level, but it doesn't break up the root clods and the clumps as much. I don't like the heavy weight of the VT tool compared to the wider digger that is a little bit lighter. However, it is doing a better job on this heavy residue where we wanna come by and we need a good black seed bed to get this corn on corn up and started in warm soils. We're kinda of gonna run them both right now. We did get the 9560 back. That didn't take too long for Midwest Machinery to fix. So we've got both our big horses down there running tillage. I'm guessing they're working on setting up the uh, computers right now and getting the auto steer going. Maybe I'll run down and see what they've got going on. Knocking? It's making a knocking sound, yeah. Okay. It's not a good sound. I'm uh, just 500 feet north of you. I'm headed over there. It's not a nice sound, but it's it's different. Here I was just, I just gotten excited. We had both of the big tractors up and going again. That's what I thought. In two hours we'd have this 80 done and be planting and now, yeah, now it's not quite like that. All right, I'll be there in a second. Okay. So apparently the 9560 that we just got back is making noises that it's not supposed to make. Midwest is sending somebody right now to come take a look at that. But in the meantime, we're looking at the job that the storm is doing. It's definitely getting it blacker, but it's not leaving it as level. So we are going to adjust the mulcher, put more pressure on the uh, on the harrow in the back, and see if that helps. So you're just leaving one open hole behind it. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't gotten to run this thing much, or really at all, since we got it up and going. So I'm going to try it out here. 
see what I think those guys are gonna wait here for a round. So dusty, you can't see much of what it's doing from in there, but it it's no worse at all. No. no. It might be better. It's not it's clumping. You got areas where it's pretty nice. Yeah. If it would have been VT'd last fall. That the stuff across the driveway looks awesome. Yeah. We wouldn't have the root balls on top and right across from our driveway, we ran the VT tool last fall. And then we ran it again yesterday and it looks awesome. It's where we ran the ripper last fall that it doesn't work quite as nice, but I think dropping that harrow down, putting more pressure on that has has definitely helped it. I don't necessarily love the job that the field cultivator is doing on this either, so it's kind of a pick your poison at this point. What I wish we'd have done is VT this field last fall and I think it would be working up beautifully. There's the wrench right there. Jim is gonna take the Mendenko, get that moving while dad and I go clean out the planter. Probably talk to this guy, see if, see what's going on. Uh, we'll probably, it up probably not. Yeah. Uh, it's frustrating to have another tractor down. Tim says it's in the valve train. Um, sounds like they've had issues like that before where they're related when the uh, water pump or the fan drive, fan clutch area has issues. Um, one of those things. We'll get the planter home, clean it out. Thank goodness we have that other big tractor so Jim is able to keep going. Because we're actually falling behind on tillage right now. The planter is caught up to the tillage. one and I'll hold it. I don't think there's much in there at all. Okay, yeah. Let's start with that one. There's a lot more than I thought, actually. There is, huh? We will need another bag. I got the planter all cleaned out now. I took it out of the yard and ran a purge test on it to run all those conventional seeds out of the row units. Well, I'm gone. Grandpa talks Onyx into running the skid steer for him so that they can load the seed up. They're not going to need me pretty soon. Anna's keeping an eye on it all. Set up the auto dispense here, 1,300 pounds. Two rows, one here, one there. Door one, there we go, auto dispense. Check out Anna in the back there, just enjoying the day, going for a ride. I've been told, since we don't have anything to plant yet because tillage is running behind because we only have one tractor on tillage, I'm now the rock picker man for an hour or two. That's fine. I don't mind a change up at all. Hey, Daryl. Our, uh, our, we had one tillage tractor go down, which means our planter's not moving yet, so it's sitting in the yard unfolded if somebody wanted to come drop that check valve in. Somebody ran this thing all the way down to one bar of diesel on the gauge and left it for me to fill. So I'll fill it. Seven, have you found any rocks for me or is the whole field clean? No, oh, there's a field out here. a nice one sitting right on top. All right, I'm taking a chance with the camera here. Hang in there, guys. Oh, 
Well, that was kind of boring. It wasn't even very violent. Much more satisfying to have a good, violent rock throw, you know? That's a satisfying thing right there. I haven't found a lot of rocks, but I found this field cultivator. Yeah. I've pretty well got all the rocks picked out for this field, every single one of them, for the rest of time. And now Dad can fold up the field cultivator and get that thing home so that I don't have to plant corn around it. It never stops. Fine. Now I got that too. Hey Zach. Hey. Uh, I got that compressor figured out. Okay. So that doesn't stay running anymore. Um, was this, I noticed that it was running up and down that the SCVs were shuddering really bad. Yeah, it started doing that a couple days ago. It's fine when it's in the ground and planting, but yeah, it does that when it's up. I was talking to Tim and he said, seems like once the planter gets warmed up, it's, it's not near as bad. That's the same with this one. When the oil gets hot, it'll still do it sometimes, but it's not nearly as bad. Okay. Okay, I would say get back to me on it, figure that out, and then, I mean, if, the, if they're going to cover it, because there's a few of them doing it, I don't think it's affecting anything. It just, it just does it, but... Yeah. If they're, yeah, no. if they're going to cover it, let's put it in and see if it fixes it. Ding dong. According to my Simply Safe app, somebody's at the front door. Let's open it up here, see who it is. Hi, Rhiannon. Can I look? I'm in the tractor. I'm finishing picking rocks right now. I should be back in like... 15 minutes and then if John Deere is ready with the planter, we'll be good to go and then whoever wants to can hop in with me. Okay. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen that we actually installed a Simply Safe security system here a few months ago, both in our shop and in our house. We wanted a security system that would cover pretty much everything, not just security. It comes right to your door. Uh, you can install it yourself. It took me maybe an hour the first time I installed it in the shop and maybe 30 minutes for the next one when I installed it in the house. So very easy to set up yourself. They've got 24-7 monitoring where they will dispatch your local police or fire department. If something happens, they'll send them right out. There's no contracts to sign up for. If any of you are interested in getting a Simply Safe system for yourself, check out this link right down below here, also in the description. Do that. Trust me, you'll be happy you did. Then I'm going to go out and see what Dad's issue is here. Apparently, we're having some problems getting the digger folded up on the 8260. I don't see why it wouldn't. Apparently, you need all the electrical connections plugged in, including just the 7 pin, in order to fold that thing up. Who knew? These tractors have gotten too electronic, even for millennials. China can play games with our markets. Corn crop just keeps going up, which, which is a good thing if you sell it at that, which uh, all of our old crop is sold and we haven't sold at that. So hopefully we can capture some uh, new crop prices here real soon. Sounds like Eric got the check valve changed on this, which is good. We were able to plant with it malfunctioning anyway. We just kind of tricked it on some of the timing of the hydraulics. But that check valve was actually apart from our old system anyway. It wasn't a part of the new kit, so it's eight, nine years old now, I guess. But it's time to go planting again, see if we can finish up our last field of corn. Dad wants to touch up a couple end rows on that field before I go plant. So I'm going to go grab a quick lunch and see if Isla wants to ride with me. But in the meantime, you okay? Hey, buddy? Are, are you all right? Didge was what? Eating that the other day. Oh, no. It doesn't look that tasty. Anna, do you want to take this woodchuck to the doctor, please? 
Look at the puppy taking a nap. All right, are you ready to go on the planter, Isla? He tucks in like me. Tucks in like you? You sleep all she curled up like into that? into a the donut. Into a donut, I'm she a donut. does. All right, fire it up. Do you want to turn the key? I'm going to put things down first. You're going to put those down first, okay. There you go. This like made the line that leads into the first This line here? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's very good. Because we don't go in this one. No, we don't go in that because one. That's the neighbor's. Because there's always red ones. Red ones? Oh, red tractors in that field? Yeah. There are, aren't there? We just passed our... Yeah? That is Grandpa down there. I knew it because you, you it? called him. I did, yeah. It seems like I'm always calling him, aren't I? I was calling because someone. It's your dad. It is my dad. Dad, I'm hmm? right of. Right what? Of. Of? Yeah. O F. Ready? Here we go. Nope. Not in gear. Psych. Plus I should purge the belts. Fill the belts. Fill. Your part numbers, but well, I can get them coming. Yeah, get them coming. I'm not worried about getting it done right away because it's not going to wreck anything, is it? No, nope, I don't believe so. Okay. I think it's just a more annoying part of it. Like I said, especially when it goes away when it gets warm. Right. Yeah, no, or, that's fine with me. Just get them, get them coming. We'll see what it does. Okay. All right. Because you're bored or what? Yeah. You've only been out here for like an hour. Yeah. Oh, that's long. It's a long hour, you say? You want to go dig? Find some seeds? Go dig in the dirt or not? Yeah? Okay. We'll do that. We'll go check on everything, make sure it's going good. You can leave it there, we'll put it in the rock bucket when we get back to the tractor. Ooh, it's wet down there. Hey, I found one! No, you didn't find one already. They're down deeper than that. There's one. See it? Yeah, I want to try next. You want to try next? So there's going to be one, let's see, where was that one? This one's here. There's going to be one right there. You got to dig that deep. There you go, you found it? Yeah. Right down in there, huh? Beautiful. Same thing I always dig for, make sure the depth and the placement looks good, make sure the closing wheels are lined up, down pressure on the wheels and the gauge wheels looks good. Looks good. I gotta say here, in all honesty, I think we got the uh, gauge wheel pressures, the downforce set right, we got the closing wheels set right. I know there was some bugs to work through on this planter but right now I'm really happy we did the conversion that we did I think it's gonna work out really really well now that we've worked out some of the bugs I think it's doing a really good job I'm I'm really happy with the way this field looks all right are you ready to grab your rock and we'll head back okay there you go we'll go put that in the rock bucket Throw it in there. There you go. Good job. How did you get dirt in your shoes? From dirt in it. From getting dirt in it? Yeah. You were running too fast in the field and it flew up and landed in your shoes? No. No? Running. You were running a little bit. Digging. Oh, you were digging. You were. You were, I saw. That. You were. And then, and then it got in my shoes. That happens, huh? Lingus! 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 Rawr! Lingus! Lingus! Do you need music? Should we throw some music on the Bluetooth? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Throw in a watermelon throw Back to my home Back to my home I dare not go I dare not go I like to eat, eat, eat Eeples and my meat
down again. Here I go. I suppose now would be a good time for a rock concert. We'll see you guys in a bit. That's gonna do it for the first 80 acres on the day. Fold up, jump across the ditch here. Start the other side. I think there's 65 acres over there. Matter of fact, I know there's 65 acres over there. Hey, if you haven't left yet, you want to grab those two bags out of the dually also? Oh, yeah. We are empty. Once again, we've only got 30 acres left here. That's going to finish corn for the year. We've got Dad coming down the road right now with a few bags. We're going to toss them in, finish things off here, and be on to beans tomorrow. Won't let me drop the tailgate when you're in gear. I think you're good there. Yeah, you better come back eight inches. So we put them all in there? Yep. And then go up a gear if you want. How fast are you driving? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd say go up a gear and yeah, six, seven miles an hour is no problem at all. I am completely loaded. Fireman. There's a cute little rock to plant around. Dad got hung up back at home. He's already on his way with the rock picker, but I've already planted around about four of those. Just gonna have to learn to keep up, Pops. There's one right in front of me. I just planted over in the last round here. Actually, there's, a, there's two right here, and then there's one you're headed for towards that uh, tile. Oh, looks like he's having fun. I think he's found a couple extras in that sweet spot. Lucky him. We are right down there. The seed is beeping at me, so I'm gonna kick a couple bags in. No, I think if you, well, you got all the ones around the tile that I saw, and there's one that you probably just grabbed up in those end rows. Other than that, like I say, there was one more, but I don't remember where it was. Got all those other short rows done over there? The ones in the back are done, yeah. Hey, Anna. How was your afternoon? That's it. We are completely done planting corn for 2021, which is a little bit sad, but also exciting. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. We are going to switch this thing over to soybeans, clean it all out, get everything ready to go. We're gonna get the sprayer going. I don't know, yeah, that'll have to be tomorrow. The roller will be going. Everything's going wide open. Soybeans take a little bit more work to plant because we gotta load a lot more. We gotta run the sprayer, the loader, the roller, I mean. Everything's good, it's all good. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>